Hello and welcome back. I apologize I have not uploaded in like two weeks. It might even be longer, longer than two weeks, but I actually got really sick and was just unable to film any videos because I was just like brain dead, just super out of it. But I'm better now though, for the most part. My uh, voice is still a little messed up, so I apologize. You have to listen to that, but anyways, today we're going to be doing shrooms versus zombies. I was thinking we'd make two civilizations, uh, infect one with shrooms and one with zombies, and see which one dies faster. <laughs> and I think we'll have the shrooms actually fight the zombies at the end. I feel like that'd be cool. Anyways, so let's create a new world. I think we'll just go with huge. And we'll just go ahead and erase all of this. So the idea here is that we're going to create two kind of massive islands on each edge here. Uh, I really want to see firstly what disease will kill the humans first. So I'm going to have a bunch of humans on each side and see which one kills them first. And then I'll build a bridge through the middle and we'll have them fight. So we're just going to go ahead and build out these islands a little bit. We'll add some seeds on there and some fruit bushes. And then we'll add some resources. Though I don't want to give them too many resources just because I feel like the disease won't spread as quickly if they have like weapons to defend themselves. So, so I'll just give them a few ores, I think. And then we'll go ahead and spam some rain clouds just to make everything look a little greener. Oh, the rain clouds do like lightning now. What the heck? I'm not sure I like that. I mean, at least they're kind of putting out the fires as they're making them. Still seems like I need to like put some rain down too to fully put them out. I feel like this should be like a separate cloud. Like there should be like a a rain cloud then like a like a storm cloud or something. But but what do I know, you know? All right, there we go. I think they're all gone now. No, there's still there's still this stupid little baby cloud. Oh, there it goes. Anyways, I think we can start spawning our civilizations now. I'm gonna try and kind of balance this out because I know that the shrooms are a lot stronger than the zombies. So, so I think I'm actually gonna put half the population that the zombie island has on the shroom island so that we can kind of even the odds a little bit. So we'll do like 2000 over here and we'll do just a thousand over here on this right island. And I'm gonna change some of these world laws real quick. Getting up expansion, yeah, that's fine. Stealing borders. Um, we'll get rid of hunger and old age. And I'll get rid of rebellions and diplomacy. Do 2,000, kind of spread them out. 1,500, 1,600, 17. All right, and 2,000. So then we'll do the other side. All right, and that is 1,000. Get the boys over here. Look at this giant boy. Also, I love how they have all like the little tools now. It's super cool. You can see like there's like a guy with like a little basket picking all the fruits and they've got like axes and they've got, I think there's like a hoe, whatever it is, a scythe. Okay, good. Yeah, the, the population seems to be going up now. They're having babies. Oh, they have a little army already. Look at that. Or they're just using wood swords. Why has he seen some stuff? What have you seen? Favorite food, berries. Well, that's good. That's good, man. Because there's, there's a lot of berries. They're everywhere. Um, we're going to wait till this reaches 5,000, I think. want them to kind of expand for them to be enough of them to make it fun, you know? If you're going to kill people, why kill less? You know, why kill 3,000 when you can kill 5,000? That's the question we got to ask ourselves. You got Shiki here. He's 72 years old. Dang, he's old. He's probably one of the first people I spawned. Administrative skill of a ruler. You know what? I would vote for him. He's got a wood axe that he's been using for six years. Very impressive. Let's, let's see some of these other guys. The wood spear just looks like a stick. We go whack people with a stick. And wood bow, yeah. It's all just wood weapons still. Which, in their defense, I did only give them, like, a couple rocks. So, I understand why they're using wood. <laughs> oh, they also changed the uh, the symbols for the boats. I like that a lot more. And it's cool because it's colored based on the, uh, the civilization. One thing I hope they add is actually coloring people's clothes to match their civilization. That way you don't always have to click on them to find out. Cause like you look over here and just everyone's wearing blue all the time. <laughs> It'd be nice to actually be able to tell like where someone's from just by looking at them. Let me go ahead and speed this up to super speed. Which by the way, if you don't know how to do this, you can just click this burger here. Just go to sonic speed. All right, we are almost there and we made it. Turn off sonic speed for now. Maybe we'll just go down to three times speed. Cool, so now we can start infecting some people. So let's grab our zombie disease. You know, I think I'm actually just going to infect the armies because I think that they're gonna be the biggest problem when it comes to actually spreading the virus because they just kill people so fast. 
See, I'm just gonna try and just infect the armies. And I'll do the same over here. Just get the armies. I think there's one over there. There's a little army to the left here. There you go. I might be infecting way too many people. <laughs> okay, I think that's it's gotta be the last one up here. All right, there we go. We should be good. I'm hoping I infected enough people for the zombies to take over. Because it seems like it's not spreading quite fast enough. It seems like they're killing the zombies off pretty quick. I mean, their population has gone down a lot. It just seems like there's no, like, groups of zombies anywhere. There's just, like, a few little stragglers. All right, let's check over on this side. See how they're doing. I'm not seeing any mushrooms. Oh, you know why? <laughs> I'm stupid. I forgot. To, I disabled hunger in old age, so there's there's no way for people to die to turn into mushrooms. I'm silly. There we go. Look. It's funny because once I enabled old age, all the old people just died all at once. <laughs> Imagine your god made you immortal, and you live for like hundreds of years, and then one day he just turns you into a mushroom. For no real good reason, just for fun. Everyone should be glad I'm not their god. Dang, the mushrooms are taking over super fast though. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be a fair competition. The mushrooms just like took over the whole world. So I think I'm just gonna infect all of these guys. I don't think, I think the zombies actually kind of died off. So let's just infect everyone and we'll, uh, we'll have them fight. All right, let's see how it's going down here. I still, there's definitely not going to be enough zombies to, to kill the mushrooms. <laughs> there's no way. Yeah, they have like half the health that uh, the mushrooms do. He's a pyromaniac zombie. Very cool. All right, you got Ucherork, which is the last human city. I think there's only, I think this is the last guy right here. Rest in peace, my dude. And there he goes. All right, there goes the last human city. There are a ton of mushrooms over here. This is not going to be a fair fight, Leia. Uh, I think I'm actually going to spawn some more humans over here and just turn them into zombies. Maybe we'll spawn like a thousand humans. We'll infect all of them. Oops. Just we'll infect all of them one drop at a time. Man, I think I got all of them. Let's check the let's check the numbers. Yeah, look how fast they're going down. There we go. Now we got a ton of zombies. So let's uh, make a bridge to the the other side. Actually, maybe we'll make like a little island in the middle. Let's make like a little island and we can just pick them all up and move them. All right, zombies, let's go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this real quick and move these guys to the middle. I really want to know how much there are of each. And are they going to kill each other? What if they're just like homies? Oh, yeah, they're going to kill each other. Oh, this is a good screenshot right here. I should use this as my thumbnail. The shrooms have a big advantage having all these weapons or all these uh, bows and arrows here. They're just hitting them from far away. Yeah, the shrooms are just mowing them down like it's nothing. I'm going to say the shrooms are probably going to win this. <laughs> Let's slow it down real quick. I should have spawned like way more zombies in this also i'm gonna get roasted in the comments for this but i just realized i spawned humans earlier just to infect them with the zombie disease when you can just actually just spawn straight up zombies <laughs> for some reason i totally just wasn't thinking about that i'm stupid let's spawn a few more thousand zombies real quick and see if they can beat the shrooms this <laughs> is look at that line of zombies all right let's speed this up a little bit um hourglass let's go five times all right still looks like the shrooms are gonna win easy <laughs> i mean i guess in my head i knew this exact thing was gonna happen because the shrooms are just way more powerful i think they have yeah they have more health and they have they do better damage so yeah it wasn't really too much of a competition but that's okay you know what we had a good time and that's uh, that's what matters anyways i uh, i guess that concludes the video so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in a couple days and i promise it will actually just be a couple days because i am feeling better now and i'm i'm ready to get some videos out so anyways i will see you guys later bye